Now that we know how to classify, now that we know how to classify by, um, or now we know how to identify the degree, which is again the largest degree of all of your monomials. Now the last thing you're going to do have to do is order or make sure that you can classify what type of polynomial, J Jamie, that you have based on the degree. So the first one is if you have a degree, sorry, if your degree is equal to 1, then it's what we call linear. Okay? An example of linear could just be x. It could be x plus 1. You could have negative 1 half x. All different examples. The main important thing is you guys notice the degree or the exponent of my variable in each of these examples is what? 1. OK? If you have a degree that's equal to 2, that's what we call a quadratic. And you guys should be very familiar with quadratics. It could be x squared minus 3x plus 1 half. It could be um, 4x squared plus 5. The main important thing, again, is that you guys identify that the degree of my polynomial is equal to 2. Right? The largest exponent up there is 2. If your degree is equal to 3, it's what we call cubic polynomial. So again, in this example, you guys can see that the degrees of each of these, the largest degree of all of my monomials is equal to 3. And then if you have it equal to 4, that's what we call a quartic. So again, as you guys look through these and you're writing them down, because yes, you will need to know these when you're doing your work to classify them, um, you're going to want to notice that you guys look at this one. This has a lot of monomials, doesn't it? But the degree, the largest degree of all of them is 4. That's why the degree of this mon polynomial is 4. So therefore, we call it a quartic. And the last one is a quintic. Just like how you guys have a, uh, ooh, that'd be a good idea. Who's going to remember quadratics? So um, then you guys have your 7x squared plus 3x cubed. You guys can see that the degree of this is 5. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, how you identify, again, determine the degree of your polynomial.